Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're going to be talking about rotation effect and uh, rotation effects animation. So rotation effect is used to rotate a view to a certain angle and rotation effect has an anchor property which you can control to rotate views uh, to those angles. Now this particular property or modifier is also defined as animatable uh, conforming to animate animatable protocol and in this video we're going to be basically looking at an example for that all right so what i've done is i've created a project oh sorry a a view which is going to uh, host our code okay so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to create a state variable first which is going to control the animation Let's do a uh, selected, uh, similar to the last example that we saw. Uh, and we'll probably recreate uh, the similar effect that we did last time, but uh, this time we're gonna use rectangle, okay? So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna first create our timer, basically a timer publisher, and then I'm gonna copy and paste the code uh, that we can actually write and I'm gonna talk about it okay all right so the code is pretty similar uh, to what we did in the last video which was basically uh, performing the scale effect animation and uh, let's talk about rotation effect so rotation effect takes a value called degrees. So uh, rotation effect can be, or any view can be rotated two ways, either by defining a degree or by defining the angle in radian. Now degree is uh, a little bit simplified. So for that reason, we are going to use degrees, but if you are comfortable with radian values, then please feel free to use that. And uh, now what we do is basically we just create a rotation effect and what we are doing here is uh, we are saying if the selected value is zero rotate this view 45 degrees otherwise keep it at zero so by, by default view is not rotated that means it's at zero degrees so no rotation is applied at the same time what we are doing is we are taking last examples scale effect and we are also uh, basically scaling the views up and down and same logic is basically going on the um, for the other values now if you notice that we are using anchor with the scale effect but we are not using anchor with the rotation effect and uh, that is fine we're gonna come back and basically add the rotation and uh, if you followed the last video you would notice that we had uh, placed a on receive uh, subscriber for the timer publisher and we were incrementing the selected value now this there's only one change i've literally added just this one line in the previous code but this is the code that you can basically put it together and this is the effect that you're gonna get so let me go ahead and launch the canvas and you're gonna basically see the effect the animation being played all right while it's loading i'm gonna pause the video because it may take a little bit uh, to load while the video is being recorded oh actually it worked fine okay so there we go uh, as you can see it's uh, pretty similar to what we did um, in the in the last video uh, except like you know earlier we were using a circle view this time we're using a rectangle because applying rotation on circle is not going to show much difference okay um, now let's talk about anchor so just like scale effect rotation effect also supports anchor parameter and anchor is defined as unit point and we can actually uh, create uh, anchor for the rotation and watch how our animation actually changes 
So now the this views anchor is this view is anchored at the top. So its rotation is basically going from the top end um, and it's not rotating from the center. Rest of the views are rotating from the center. Um, you're gonna see the difference once we start basically putting this in all the others. So let's go ahead and say bottom. And uh, as you can see, this actually creates kind of an interesting um, effect. Okay, I'm gonna add leading and trailing for the others. All right, so as you can see, our view has a little bit, uh, a slightly interesting animation that's being played. Uh, so it's almost like, you know, when this view goes up, this view also uh, moves a little bit. Uh, it almost seems like, you know, they're kind of like, you know, um, playing uh, together. Uh, these animations are playing together. Anyways, um, this is what you can do with the rotation animation. Now, in the next video, we're gonna basically talk about a shapes trim value and uh, we're gonna basically see how animation actually plays with the trim of a shape. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.